Today on the show, we have burning trucks, crying children, and news that Zimbabweans can travel to South Africa without passports. All of them on WhatsApp, and all of them crap. Welcome to What's Crap on WhatsApp. I'm Paul McNally, Head of Volume Investigations. This is the show that uncovers the crap in your WhatsApp groups and professionally debunks it. The show is brought to you by Africa Check and Volume Investigations. I'm Kate Wilkinson, Acting Deputy Editor at Africa Check, the continent's leading fact-checking organization. A few weeks ago, our team put out a call for people to send us the worst false information they had received on WhatsApp. Since then, Africa Check and Volume Investigations have received hundreds of messages, videos and images from people furious with what they are seeing. Kate, what's up first? First, we're looking at a screenshot of a Facebook post that was shared on WhatsApp suggesting that Zimbabweans were burning South African trucks at a border post in retaliation to xenophobic violence in the country. The picture shows a terribly charred and burnt truck. So when you see this truck, you immediately jump to assumptions. But what are the facts? So the South African police told us that there had been no reports of such attacks at border posts. They also said that they'd seen a lot of false warnings being circulated. When we did a reverse image search, we found that the main picture in the post is actually from a protest in Swane in 2016 after the ANC nominated Toko de Diza as a mayoral candidate. So the picture has nothing to do with this story at all. It's complete crap. You're right about that. If someone you know sent you this story, make sure you forward them this voice note to prove them wrong. We've got two more pieces of WhatsApp crap to debunk. But first, Kate, can you tell us why Africa Check and Volume Investigations are launching this show? Africa Check has spent seven years fighting false information across Africa, but we've found it difficult to tackle WhatsApp misinformation because this communication is private. But now, people can forward us dodgy messages on WhatsApp. We'll debunk the worst of it, and we'll send the facts back in a short, sharp, monthly voice note. And Volume Investigations is a non-profit that produces quality podcasts and audio stories. We're looking for ways to tell exciting stories and inform people with audio. So we've partnered with Africa Check to fight false information on WhatsApp. So let's get back to checking WhatsApp messages. What can you tell us about a viral message that it claims criminals are using crying children? Yes, a picture being shared on WhatsApp looks like an official warning from the South African police and the Department of Social Development. It claims that crying children are asking members of the public to take them home to a specific address, only for criminals to be waiting there to rob them. But this warning is completely false, and we were told as much by the South African police. So it's completely crap then? Absolutely. It's a hoax. And lastly, we have a story that's really pertinent around this time in elections, around passports and Zimbabweans. Yes, a screenshot of a news article that is being shared on WhatsApp claims that the South African government has suspended passport requirements for Zimbabweans. But this is 100% crap. We fact-checked this by contacting the Department of Home Affairs, and it was confirmed as much by their spokesperson, David Klabane. (laughs) The the, the Department of Home Affairs um, would really love to indicate strongly that there is no such a thing. The department has not suspended requirements for Zimbabweans with regard to passports. Standard requirements for passports remain in place. Um, We do believe that the reports that you are alluding to uh, are a very malicious kind of a hoax and should be treated as such. This show is exclusively on WhatsApp. You won't hear it anywhere else. It isn't on your podcast feeds. But you can subscribe to it by putting our number 073-749-7875, 073-749-7875 into your phone, sending us a message with your name, and that will get you subscribed. You can also use this number to forward us messages that you want fact-checked. But we also want you to share the show into your WhatsApp groups or maybe forward it to that one friend or family members who's always sending you dodgy WhatsApp messages. We've also sent you today a link to a guide on fighting fake news and false information on WhatsApp. It has five simple steps, just five, that anyone can use. So please share the show and tell your family and friends to sign up. I'm Paul McNally from Volume Investigations. And I'm Kate Wilkinson from Africa Check. Join us next time for more of What's Crap on WhatsApp. 